In this video, we're going to complete example four. And once again, we're multiplying fractions, except this time we're going to have some mixed numerals. So we'll get right into question A. Whenever you have a mixed numeral, you have to turn it to an improper fraction first. So remembering that we multiply and then add. So we're going to go 3 times 2, which is 6, and 6 plus 1, which is 7. This gives us our numerator of 7. What's our denominator going to be? Well, the denominator stays the same. It was 3 before, so our improper fraction has a denominator of 3 as well. We have the fraction 7 over 3 times the other fraction 2 over 5. 7 times 2 at the top gives us 14, and at the bottom of the fraction, 3 times 5 is 15. This gives our solution for question A. Now moving on to question B, once again, we've got to take our mixed numeral and convert it into an improper fraction. We do this by multiplying first and adding last. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15. That gives us our numerator of 15. The denominator stays the same, it stays as 4. Our first fraction was 9 over 15, so we'll write that to the left of 15 over 4, and we change the word of two times. You might notice that we have a number at the top that is the same as a number at the bottom. That means we can take a shortcut, we can cancel them, and then work it out. We get the solution 9 over 4. Let's convert this to a mixed numeral. How many 4s fit into 9? Two of them with a remainder of 1. And our denominator stays the same, it stays as 4. Our solution to question B is 2 and a quarter. Let's now move on to question C. This time we have two mixed numerals, but that's okay. We, we just need to convert both of them to an improper fraction. We'll start with the first one. We times first, then add second. Uh, four times one is four, plus three is seven. Our fraction has a numerator of seven and our denominator stays the same, it stays as four. Let's now look at the other mixed numeral. We times first and we add second. Three times two is six and six plus two gives us eight for our numerator and our denominator stays the same, it stays as 3. Okay, so we'll rewrite this as 7 times 8 at the top of the fraction and 4 times 3 at the bottom. And I'm going to manipulate the 8 a little bit because 8 is the same as saying 4 times 2. And then at the bottom of our fraction we'll write 4 times 3. We can see that we can cancel the 4 because we can cancel a number at the top of the fraction as long as we cancel the same number at the bottom. At the top of our fraction we have 7 times 2 which makes 14 and at the bottom of our fraction we have the number 3. We can convert this to a mixed numeral, 3 fits into 14 4 times with a remainder of 2 and our denominator stays the same, it stays as 3. That concludes our video on example 4 Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.